Happy weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful one. Um, so far at this point, you should be familiar with the sounds that your guitar makes. You should be familiar with some open strumming patterns that you've learned off the radio. And you should be familiar with the parts of the guitar, especially the strings. That's the most important part, which have their duality of string names of one, two, three, four, five, six, E, A, D, G, B, E. If you've gotten that far, you've got your guitar tuned, you're ready for the next part. Chords. That's right, you're gonna start playing chords. Now in this first part, um, what you're gonna need is a whopping two fingers. You have five of them. You only need two. I recommend using the middle two for this first part. Um, we're going to teach you the E minor chord. Just take it on faith it's the E minor. You don't need to know why yet. But you take your middle finger, first, second fret. You take your ring finger, place it just below that. So you have them on the A and the D strings the fifth and the fourth. Press down. Don't necessarily need to go too tight. You probably will in the beginning, but that creates your fourth chord, the E minor. Which, as you can hear, is kind of, kind of moody, kind of melancholy. Um, that's because it's a minor chord. We'll get into why at some later date. So from this point, you've got them down. You've got a nice clean chord. Pick them up about quarter inch to half an inch away from the guitar and keep placing them down. That'll build up muscle memory as to what your fingers are supposed to be doing on your fighting hand. and start working on your strumming. And keep doing that until you feel it's clean and you're comfortable with it. Now the fun part about this chord is it can be transposed anywhere on your neck and it'll sound pretty good most of the time <laughs> if it doesn't sound good you'll know right away but move it up a fret move it up two frets and you'll start to see and that's just two fingers how awesome is that Look at what you're creating already. Now, we drop down to the A minor chord, which is the same finger position, drop down one string. So instead of the A and D, you have it on the D and G, the fourth and the third. Now you have those two chords that you can play together. Getting better, huh? Yeah, this is getting fun. Also, can be played anywhere.
Now, the reason that I recommend that you use your middle two fingers is you have two spare fingers here that can go anywhere that the string isn't already occupied. With the first finger, you can place it up above, place it below those two, and you have, drop it down another one, with the pinky, and I highly recommend that you start using your pinky because you want to use everything available in your arsenal. Start learning how to do it. You don't need it, but it helps. And you can come up with some really cool stuff that way. And that can be placed anywhere as well. just with that, you're going amazing places. I'll see you next week. Keep playing. Five minutes a day. And do it for you.